Hey, I'm Nicole Renard, the Distinguished Young Woman of America. And this video is for all the parents out there. Now I made this video partly because I have the coolest parents in the world, but more so because you're probably really nervous and don't quite know what to expect when you get to Mobile. So take some advice from a couple that's been in your shoes just one year ago. Ladies and gentlemen, please help me welcome the Distinguished Young Parents of America. My name is Jethro. Jethro Cole. Mobile's a nice town. I've only been there once. It was for the Distinguished Young Woman of America program. What did you think Mobile would be like before you got there? I thought it would be hot. A lot like Charleston, South Carolina. And I was right on the money. Honestly, I had no idea what it was going to be like. I was a little nervous about going, and I knew it was going to be hot, but I had no idea how much fun it would be. My favorite part was visiting the uh, War Memorial for the USS Alabama and getting a tour of the facility there. I would go on all the activities. We went on all of them, and it was fun, the food was good, the beach was a blast. We sat by the pool and went down to the um, to, to the water, and it was all extremely fun. We were on a two hour time difference, and so she was able to call me in the evening, so that was good, she kept me updated. But it was very difficult to be away from her. I wrote Nicole a letter for every day, and I sent it to her host mom, and I also used the florist that they recommended, and that was so easy, the folks there were really nice, and all you have to do is call and say you want a balloon and some chocolate kisses delivered, and they did that. I was on Twitter and Instagram. Those are probably my favorite ones. I seem to get more off of those than Facebook. But it was fun because they posted photos of the girls and they told you exactly what they were doing. And so I literally was on that all the time when she was gone. One of the events that I wish I had really went to was the has Been show. Um, I did not go to it and I heard about it afterwards and saw some of the video of it and it was absolutely hilarious. So I'd highly recommend going to that even if you feel like you're beat and need to take a rest. Take the time to go to the has Been show. It's well worth the fun. One thing I would recommend, I didn't really know how to dress when I got there for the different events and I found that it was pretty casual what the ladies wore to the events and I would wear flat shoes if you're traveling from a hotel because our hotel was pretty far away and so we walked so I would recommend something casual and then the final night everyone goes all out so I would really dress up for the final night but for the other events I would dress casual because it's warm and if you're walking flat shoes are definitely a must. I would give the distinguished dad's advice on just supporting their daughters where they're competing and having fun with their family while they're all there. There's a lot of fun events to do and the, the real reward is the fact that you get to be there as a family whether your daughter wins or not. Um, you can have a wonderful time, make it a wonderful experience. Everybody's got a lot of neat scholarships that they get offered to be there and it's a great experience. I just love them. After the competitions, um, one of the most fun things that they had was out in the back of the theater or the convention center. You would um, gather after each event and you just got to love on your daughter. And it was fun to visit with her and it's not really a time for critiquing them because it's too late for that. The girls are tired, they've been there all week and they're actually doing their best. So just show them that you love them no matter what. No matter whether they get an award or whether they don't get an award. Just love them and let them know that your love is unconditional, no matter what the outcome of the competition is. This is my doll. This is Distinguished Young Dog of America. Her name is Molly Renard. She's 11 years old and she is my third daughter. She's the best. She's the best pooch anyone could ever have. Molly. Again, Distinguished Young Dog of America. Right here, folks. Right here in River City. Right here in my chair. I got my dog. I got my dog. Nicole's a dog. Nicole's a favorite dog. It's a dog of America. Woo!
Bien. <laughs> Stop. Give it off. I don't do this. It's not my job. I'm not Nicole. I'm not the distinguished young mom of America. My name is Pam Bernard. I'm from Canada, Washington. I come from Kentucky. Yep, you Billy, Kentucky. Yep, I got it right here, folks. And next, you're gonna meet my husband. And yes, he does have teeth. <laughs>